the Aldridge Mansion is the only 19th century home in New York City preserved both inside and out. At the time of its construction, it was one of the most elegant homes in existence. Um, interesting fact, this grandfather clock was on the Titanic and was saved by Sir Aldridge. A Romanian woman and her child were forced to leave the lifeboat to make room. Uh, over here, you can imagine Sir Aldridge entertaining his wealthy guests. It's said that in this very room, P.T. Barnum first had the idea to enslave elephants. And if you follow me, Now, I'm going to tell you something a little spooky. On the morning of October 25th, 1894, Sir Aldridge awoke, furious, when his breakfast was not waiting for him. So he called to his servants, but none of them responded. Why? Because during the night, one by one, they had each been stabbed to death in their sleep. It was later discovered they were murdered by his eldest daughter, Gertrude Aldridge. Sir Aldridge once wrote in his diary, I know God makes no mistakes, but I believe he may have been drunk when he built Gertrude's personality. Now, to spare the family public humiliation, instead of turning her into the police, they locked her in this basement. And they fed her through this slot. Years later, when a new owner moved in, they dug out her remains. But after repeatedly hearing strange sounds, he sealed it shut. That's right, no one has opened this door since then. Okay, follow me. Maybe steer clear of the door. Sir Aldridge, I gotta get out of here. Hall today. Darling, that's wonderful. This is this is what you're wearing? What? I have someone I want you to meet. Phyllis, I would like to introduce Erin Gilbert. She specializes in theoretical particle physics. I'm, I'm a huge fan. This is such an honor to meet you. Phyllis is guest lecturing in Daniel's astrophysics and cosmology. 
Wow. Erin just learned she's being published. <laughs> yes, well, I'm very proud. <laughs> I don't allow my lab to submit to journals anymore. I think journals tamper with the process and ultimately hurt scientific research. Yeah. It's like when scientists get caught up, you know, in those dumb awards. You know? Oh, awards are massively important. Yes, no, I was saying it'd be dumb not to go after awards, because that's where science really shines. It's unfortunately the only way to draw attention to good science. Excellent point. Mm -hmm. All right, I should be going. <laughs> hey, Simon. Mwah. Well, I'm going to lecture right now <laughs> in the big hall. It's good that it's big, too, because I got a lot of big ideas I'm going to be spreading. Hey, good luck on your tenure review. Make me proud. Fingers crossed. Not that crossing your fingers means anything, because it doesn't. Oh, I couldn't disagree more. It's been proven that superstitions can have tremendous performance benefits. Exactly. I'm wrong about everything. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to try to get out of here without stepping on these cracks. I don't want my mom calling me to be like, ah! <laughs> oh, see, when they change direction, you got to... <laughs> so you know her. All right. Oh, ding dong. <laughs> yeah. Sean. That is an excellent question. As you can see from my calculations, we will soon be able to combine general relativity and quantum theory. Oh, teaching in the big hall, big day. Oh, big hall, big hall, big hall. Sorry to interrupt, but I need to speak to you about something you wrote. Um, sorry, uh, yes, what, what, um, what publication? I'm talking about your book. Mm. Um, sorry, I don't, I don't know what you mean. Now, if you'll excuse me, my class will be here any minute. You're Aaron Gilbert, right? Co-author of Ghosts from Our Past, both literally and figuratively. The study of the paranormal? I, I think you are looking for a different Aaron Gilbert, one that likes very long titles. OK, but this really does look like you. What? No. It's me. Look, it was a very long time ago, and it was just a gag between a couple of friends. Sorry. A 460-page gag? The first sentence is, this is not a joke? What do you want? Well, I'm Ed Melgrave. I'm the historian at the Aldrich Mansion, and I believe it's haunted. If you could just come take a look. I tried the police, but I just sound crazy. I'm sorry. That book you're holding is utter nonsense. I don't even know how you got that. I thought I burned both copies. It's on Amazon, both hard copy and ebook. What? It's on books on tape, too. Only I know how to read. Is it now? No. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to kill you, Abby. Oh. Hello. Hi. Oh, Dr. Fillmore. Hello. Hi. You're set for the final review of your tenure case on Thursday. It's great. But I saw that you had a recommendation letter from Dr. Brennan at Princeton. Uh, Their science department is really not what it used to be. And I would consider getting a referral from a more prestigious college. More prestigious than Princeton? Yes. Um, you see, I think you're an asset to modern physics, but I would hate to see you throw it down the drain. No. No, 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 sir, I won't throw it down the drain. And I, I will get on that letter. Yes, Princeton. More like Prince. Tons of dummies go there. <laughs> About your clothes. Yes. Too sexy for academia. Never mind. No, 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 what is it? Never mind. I don't... Abby, you promised you wouldn't do this. Abigail continues her passion for the study of the paranormal at the Kenneth P. Higgins Institute of Science.